Unlock the secret of creating stunning metallic brushes with ease and discover new ways to add depth, shine and sophistication to your designs. Let's get started. To initiate the customization process, select a schoolhouse chalk from chalks folder. Subsequently, navigate to brush settings and then proceed to head section. Next, choose image option and select the image of the head. Scroll down and adjust the spacing to about 7%. Furthermore, increase the structure to about 10%. Moving on to texture section, increase the depth to about 75% while decreasing the scale to about 45%. One more thing, proceed to stroke section, scroll down and locate flow option. Here you can enable and disable this flow graph feature. If you enable it, it will produce one of the edges soft and faded. While disabling it, it will maintain consistent edges. So it totally depends on your preference for the brush while I'll keep this flow graph feature disabled. Now save the settings. The key step in this customization is go to the size option and change the blending mode of this brush to color dodge. This is the crucial part of this customization. Now let's test this customized brush. As you can see, I have selected a lighter color. When I apply the first stroke, the color appears subtle and similar to normal color. However, as I repeat the strokes, adding multiple strokes, the color gradually lightens, achieving a beautiful metallic effect. Now let's experiment with the darker color. As you can see, the first stroke appears normal. But as I add multiple strokes, the color lightens and takes on a yellowish hue. This demonstrates that changing the color produces a distinct metallic shine. Now let's switch to a pinkish tone. Applying the first stroke yields the base color. As I add multiple strokes, the color becomes increasingly shinier, lighter and more vibrant. To intensify the shine in a specific area, simply add more strokes. I am really impressed with how it turned out. With just few strokes, you can achieve a stunning metallic effect. Let me show you one more thing. With a dark color selected and the blending mode set to color dodge, I get a distinct metallic look when adding strokes. However, if I change the blending mode to screen or another option, the texture and metallic look change dramatically. Altering the blending mode can produce different results. Ultimately, the choice depends on the specific texture or look you want to achieve. If you prefer a more saturated, darker, or closely textured brush, you can easily adjust the setting. Simply go to the settings, proceed to height section, and decrease the spacing until you reach your desired level. By doing so, you will achieve a more densely textured, darker brush that suits your artistic needs. As you can see, there is a noticeable difference between increased spacing of the first two brush strokes and the decreased spacing of the third brush stroke. By the way, you can experiment with the default brushes that have a texture you like. You can easily customize these brushes to create metallic effect by simply changing their blending mode to color dodge or another mode of your choice. This way you can achieve the same metallic effect without having to create a new brush from scratch and explore a wide range of unique textures and styles. Now let's apply the metallic brush to this costume to give it a shiny metallic look. To achieve this, I have set the blending mode to a screen and selected a darker color. Create a new layer and apply clipping mask to it. First, I'll add strokes where the light is hitting the dress. I'm just blocking in the initial highlights following the direction of light source. This will give me a foundation to build upon. Next, I'll add more strokes to define the creases and folds of the dress, enhancing the light and its interaction with the fabric. By doing so, I will create more nuanced and realistic representation. As I continue, I'll add more strokes to create a 3D effect, focusing on areas where the fabric is raised, such as the upper planes, by emphasizing these areas, I'll create a gradient of lightness with the upper surface receiving more light. This technique will add depth and dimensionality to dress. I am applying stronger strokes to the raised areas. This way, I will intensify the highlights, making them more vivid and attention-grabbing. This technique will add an extra layer of realism to image, giving the dress more luxurious and eye-catching appearance. 
Now let's move on to the shoes. We want to give them a metallic finish that matches the dress. To start, I'll create a layer of subtle light to establish the base tone. Next, I'll add more strokes to intensify the light, focusing on the areas where light is hitting the most, such as the upper surface. I'll do the same thing with the other shoe. And that's it. This is just a demo, but the possibilities are endless. With your imagination and creativity, you can take this technique to new heights. Thanks for watching. Drop a like and leave the comment because this thing gives me the energy to try new things and do experiment like this.